In addition to what Waziri has said is that vaccination is entirely a voluntary process and for vaccination of teenagers in school our cutoff point has been 15 years old and parents are actually expected to be able to give consent and that is why you have seen a substantial increase in numbers of children in schools being vaccinated. Other jurisdictions have lowered the age of vaccination to as low as even five years as Waziri has told us and uh, as more information is gathered, you never know in future we could even be able to have infancy vaccination. So as more evidence is gathered, science is informing us in the decisions we take. And it is taken for the overall protection of the entire society. Baby, I was asking the one in your what, what are you going to are you going to school for what Multiple prong approach is being used, including approaching schools, approaching other social amenities where we can especially be, universities, especially universities, secondary schools where we can be able to get a large pool of students who qualify for vaccination. But of course, also those who are able to reach a health facility, if you come with your teenage son or daughter, 16, 17 years old for vaccination, again that service will be provided. But Waziri, maybe I can be able to take this opportunity also just to highlight about the yellow fever outbreak in yeah. Isiolo. Uh, though no question has come regarding that, yes, we are dealing with a situation in Isiolo. For us, because uh, as the African continent, 34 counties in Africa are yellow fever prone and another 14 in Central America and the Southern American region. So we, we have reported so far three confirmed cases of yellow fever from two sub-counties in Isiolo. We have sent technical teams to be able to support the Isiolo county government in terms of uh, case management, line listing, and uh, community engagement, and of course in preparation for vaccination. There's a safe vaccine for yellow fever virus, which offers lifelong protection and takes effect after just about one month of vaccination. So yes, we are dealing with a situation, but it is under control and there's no need for panic because the epicenter of that outbreak is far flung with a sparse population. So risk of human to human transmission, I mean, through mosquito bites, that like happens in urban settings is unlikely. So it's likely that in the next few days, we'll be able to quash this uh, outbreak. Thank you.